Joining us now to reflect on what the, the what the outcome rather of this trial means for our country is CBS News contributor Ibram X. Kendi. Good morning to you, Ibram Kendi. It's really good to see you. I want to start with how are you feeling this morning? How are you processing this? This is definitely your area. I'm feeling better, certainly, than I, than I felt when I woke up uh, yesterday. And I'm, I'm thinking that the idea that it's impossible to convict a white police officer who, who indeed murdered uh, a black American could be possible now. And but I think we have a long way to go before it becomes probable or likely when the evidence substantiates it. Yeah, many people are using the term that this is a turning point, but yet I hear others say, wait, hold on a second, let's not take a victory lap yet. You agree with that? Oh, without question. And um, I mean, it's still the case that three people per day were killed at the hands of law enforcement during the Chauvin trial. It's still the case that that police in the United States uh, kill more people per capita than any other wealthy country in the world. And it's still the case that people today are going to get pulled over or engaged by the police and they're going to fear for their lives, even though they didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, you tweeted yesterday about systemic justice. What does that look like, Ibram? What does that mean? What does it look like? Sure. Systemic justice means that we all are treated equally before the law, no matter our racial, our, our race, our, our gender, our class. It, it means that our public safety uh, people and institutions are, are literally places and sites that people can feel safe, can draw safety from. And it also means that we are consistently thinking about the roots of crime. Things like, how can we sort of ensure that, that people are not committing crimes out of despair? Uh, people are not committing crimes because they don't have. You know, this will certainly hold a place in the Minnesota history books. They were saying on the news here, on the local news, that this is the first time that a white police officer has been convicted of murdering a black civilian. How do you want history to remember this moment? Those are the sounds of Minneapolis waking up. We're all safe. Go ahead, Ibram. Well, what I would love to happen is that over the next few years, we completely reimagine public safety. We put policies in place that really demonstrate that the lives of, of, of black people matter and that we can look back at this case and, and see it as a turning point and see from 2021, and there began this rapid decline in the number of people who were killed by the police and in the number of people who feared the police. All right, Ibram Kendi, we thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. I know this is an ongoing conversation. Thank you so much.